Jeep has just unveiled a brand new Wrangler. It might not look like a brand new Wrangler on the outside. So we're going to have a look at the outside from the front side. We are going to compare it to the old one and show you exactly the tiny changes that are new on the Wrangler. And then we also have to talk about the interior because that's where the big changes happen. I personally think that this is just a, a perfect update for the Wrangler. It didn't need anything more than what they did in this update. So let's have a look at this article first from Auto Week. Some spec and tech. I'm gonna link this article down in the description if you want to go and check it out. So the 2024 Jeep Wrangler sees exterior and interior enhancements and now comes standard with the 12.3 inch touchscreen media system. It expands the Wrangler 4XE plug-in hybrid availability to the entry level models, which I think is a really cool idea. That means that you have a little bit of electric range even in the in the base models of the uh, Wrangler or the entry sport models as they as they say here. For the exterior changes, you do have a revised grill. So we're going to have a look at this grill and I'm going to show you exactly what is different with this grill because it's very hard to tell if you can't if you don't see them side by side. <laughs> Again, I think it's good that the Jeep keeps it very conservative because it is a very unique and legendary design this Wrangler. So for 2024, Jeep is refreshing the Wrangler and adding a series of quality of life upgrades into the interior and the drive line. And nestle in between the dash is a standard 12.3 inch media screen that runs the modern UK connects 5 and comes with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as standard. For physical button fans, Jeep did not integrate the climate controls into the larger screen and kept it separate down below. And this is what I want to see in interiors. I always feel like the screen is supposed to supplement everything else. The screen shouldn't have the very necessary functions of the car, climate, radio, and so on. I, for me, personally, I think that should never be in a touchscreen that should always have physical buttons so I'm really glad that uh, Jeep st stuck with that in the Wrangler while the powertrains are carrying over including the 6.4 liter Hemi Jeep didn't ignore the, the Wrangler's driveline in on the Rubicon for example you see a new upgraded full flow Dana axle at the rear and the Rubicon also comes with the 35 inch tall tires when you check the box for the Rubicon X package which includes steel bumpers power seats and a host of other options the base powertrain is still the 3.6 liter v6 that made it to a six-speed manual transmission it makes 285 horsepower and 260 pound-feet of torque which i feel is uh, quite enough for specifically the two-door wrangler so let's jump in photoshop here let's have a look at this design let's see what's new it's very hard as i said to to tell what is exactly new in the wrangler very subtle changes i, I was considering not even popping in the the comparison to the old one because it's basically just one change and that is this grill right here you see the grill is new they say that this improves cooling but i also think it improves the look of the wrangler i love that we have the old traditional styling of the wrangler going back to the war times and the gi jeep it still has the same spirit as those initial early jeeps so here we have the grill and comparing it to the old one you can see that this is from 2018 with when they came out with a brand new wrangler i definitely prefer the new design with the black trim that we have going all across the entire grill we still have have the seven slot typical jeep grill here as you can see but everything has been blacked out and i feel like it's not as tall as the 2018 wrangler because here you can see that the body color itself goes all the way underneath the line of the bumper while in the new one it actually stops right here so we have a bit of a cut line in between the grill and then some black piece right here in the middle of the grill and the bumper and i think this looks really good we still have the indicators in the fenders we have the painted fenders here as well and we have the blue tow hooks for the uh, to symbolize that this is partly electric you have the plug-in connection right here on the side overall there's no mistaking whatsoever that this is a jeep and a wrangler that you're looking at because jeep has some of the best design dna's in the automotive history one detail that i love that came out with the 2018 wrangler is that we have a nice cut from the a pillar you see the a pillar going down here and you have this line in the a pillar and then that con continues into this graphics at the bottom in the in the front fender this vent i would like to change that because this is actually just a plastic trim piece that is stuck on there to make it look cool it's not a functional vent i would love to have this be open and actually suck out some of that hot air that's in the engine bay and as i'm sure you know everything here is 
is removable. You can remove the top, you can remove the doors and essentially turn this into a skeleton on wheels for those hot summer days. One detail that I'm not a huge fan of because this is not the Rubicon version. We have the 20 inch more road looking wheels. I definitely prefer the Rubicon's wheels and tires that we have here. It suits the Wrangler more. But overall, looking at these two from a side view, the 2024 and the 2018, not a lot of changes from what I can see. Even the side mirrors look to be exactly the same. The charging port is in the same location. Yes, this is body painted, but that's just because we have a specific trim on this specific model. Looking at it from a rear view, here you can clearly see the, the wheels and tires from 2024 and compare that to the Rubicon wheels and tires right here. As I said, definitely prefer this. Feels way more off-roady and feels more Jeep to me. But I do like that we have the painted uh, bumpers on the 2024 version right here. I think it looks very clean, even though this is probably uh, preferable when you're going off-road to just have it be a uh, matte plastic uh, black style like this, because if you hit something, it's going to be way less expensive to have it fixed and instead of having to repaint the whole thing. But again, other than that, it looks exactly the same like we have in the 2018 model, which is not a bad thing. I think Jeep is one of these brands that really hammers in their DNA and they stick with their formula specifically when it comes to the Wrangler. And I think they should stick with that still today. And that's what they're doing. However, I would like to see this be maybe square for the for the headlights like we had in the, I think, 80s and 90s Jeep Wranglers. Now, last but not least, we have to talk about this interior. This is where the big changes happen. And I absolutely love what they did with the new integration of specifically the infotainment screen here. It looks a little dated. We do have a pretty thick chamfer going around the old infotainment screen, which kind of suits the overall vibe of Wranglers being this rugged off-road machine. But you can see that it got a lot more fancy in the 2024, but also a lot bigger, of course, with this new screen. And it feels like it still works pretty well. Then the new vents are now positioned in a horizontal format instead of the rounded ones that we have right here on the 2018. I think this looks really good. And I'm also very excited to see some analog gauges even in a 2024 model. As I've said so many times before, I don't care about analog gauges. I think it actually is uh, sometimes feel a little bit more premium than have a digital dash. And this looks fantastic. Then we have the middle screen here, which you can configure and do whatever you want with and have the necessary digital information displayed right there in the middle while still retaining the uh, analog gauges here. It looks like it's for the charge and this is the RPMs. And of course, looking at this section seems to be the exact same section of buttons that we have in the 2018. Moving over to the 2024 model, really happy to see that you don't need to do anything to this lower part of the Wrangler everything here just keep it as it is physical physical buttons with some nice grooves to the dials as well so you can easily feel your way to what it is you want to adjust when you're driving and that's really all you need and then you have the window switches right here you can see they're centered because you can of course remove the doors on the Wrangler so you can't have the window switches being positioned on the door and this is also the same as we have in the 2018. So overall, a fantastic update by Jeep for the new 2024 Wrangler, updating exactly what I wanted to see updated, even though I did still like the old 2018 interior, the new one just feels a little bit more premium and a little bit more modern with this new integration specifically of the infotainment screen.